And in center, number 15, Zach Eady. Purdue is coached by Matt Hare. He's assisted by Brandon Greenwick, Kirby Johnson, Um, 
like I said, this game could have went um, either way. But it's it's very hard to defend teams that have that kind of a player to go along with skill. Obviously, we were fortunate he got in foul trouble, so we played half the game without him. And that obviously was to our advantage. I think we have a lot of similarities with Illinois. Uh, they're they're going to be a really hard out in our league, and they're going to be really tough to beat in the NCAA tournament. So, you know, for me, what sticks out is, is my missed free throws uh, because that can't happen in free. Um, but, yeah, we're thinking about the entire game of that. Um, yeah, especially when we don't look back at it. I wish we could have left and go over and execute the early. Best conference in college basketball. Um, and, you know, this is, it doesn't happen that things go undefeated. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one, like, it's like Coach said, one can't turn into two, but, um, you know, in this, in this conference, like, losing happens. And, and I'm not saying it's, it's okay, like, it's okay to lose, but, um, yeah, like, our goal is, is, is still our goal to, to win the national, like, to win the Big Ten Championship. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I think, I think this is just, you know, part of the journey. Um, our fans supported us. And, um, you know, that energy is, is super important. Um, you know, it's a, it's a game of runs. Um, and then, you know, when the other team is, is making a run, like, it's, it's, it's often hard to bounce back. But, um, you know, we create our own energy, and then the fans add so much to that um, that allowed us to fight back. We thought that um, I, I'm extremely proud of our group. Uh, I thought we, we uh, showed some resilience. Uh, we played 30 minutes without Kofi, 31 minutes without Kofi, or whatever that was. Um, uh, we gave up 34 shots to the opposed players, was with was I'm fine with. Uh, I thought the job, the young man that was set up here, Benjamin Verdonk, uh, was about everything that we want our program to be about: the fight, the competitiveness. Um, I thought I think Trevin Williams is one of the best players in our league. He shot 33 percent today, and uh, down 13. Um, they went on a huge run, the flagrant foul um, kind of ignited a, a run for them. He's in horrific shape, um, horrible shape, but he's a very good athlete. You're talking about a young man who's done very little in the last uh, eight, six to eight weeks um, and impacted the game at a pretty high level. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to work that piece back in, um, but uh, it's nice to have an All-American guard find his way back into your program. We had to see, like I've said all along with him, everything's a reaction to what he does that day. And once we got by that, we were we, we got to go ahead. Uh, he didn't have problems in practice, so uh, which is the first time that's happened. So um, again, I, he played way better than I expected, played way more than I expected. It was the flow of the game. We talked before the game about just being honest with me. Um, you know, because of your conditioning and, and, and foolish pride. And, and uh, we took him out the start of the, one of the overtimes. Uh, I mean, he couldn't find his lungs. So, uh, again, we'll, we'll keep working on that. I, I mean, this is the best league in the country. Everybody's got a loss now. Um, we had four last year. It's 16-4. and four. Nobody's going to go undefeated. Can't let one loss turn into two. But, but um I, like I said, we got better today. Uh, Benjamin Verdonk and, and his fight and his competitiveness. And in a day, we didn't have Coleman Hawkins. Coleman's got the flu and, and uh, you know, was thrown up before the game, halftime, and, and tried to play. And, and in a game when Andre Corbello's just coming back off a long hiatus, um, we're a good basketball team. So are they.